Well, here's a game I never thought I would touch. Saints Row showed up in my humble bundle. It's not that bad, right? Means this Saints Row feels more like a repetitive retread than a proper reboot. In many ways, Saints Row is still stuck in the past and struggling to live up to its legacy. I'm, I mean, it, it can't be that bad, right? Can I recommend Saints Row? Well, let's explore that. First, we need a short summary on the history of Saints Row. You know, for context. The very first Saints Row came out to very good reviews, averaging above 8 out of 10 on major gaming sites. It didn't really do much to stand out from GTA on the gameplay side, though the game definitely attempted to be more edgy and mid-2000s cool. This means a lot of cursing and bro talk. What the fuck you think you're doing? Just being civic-minded is all. That's so? Yeah, some dumbass cracker went and shit all over this wall. We just cleaning it up. Going forward, the games really leaned into the more wacky tone. Saints Row 2 added an insurance fraud minigame where you tried to get as injured in traffic as possible. Saints Row 3 took that even further. Yes, that is exactly what you think it is. And in the fourth game, you were the president of the United States and can do this. Aside from some questionable DLC, there was really nowhere further to go from here and the series had to be rebooted. The Saints Row reboot released 2022 and sales were so bad that the studio was ultimately shut down one year later in 2023 after 30 years. Rest in peace, Volition Games. Well, that's it for our history lesson. Let's talk about the game. Immediately when I booted it up, I was surprised in the options. This is a game that came out less than two years ago, and still I can crank all the settings way up on 1440p, and still have plenty of overhead left with an RTX 4070 card. No DLSS or super sampling needed. DLSS is actually not even an option, which feels very out of place for a game this new. This is either going to be the best optimized game in the last four years, or it's going to look very dated. And, uh, it looks fine, I guess. All right, let's be honest. This looks like a PlayStation 4 game. The previous Saints Row came out in 2013. If I had to make an educated guess, we were supposed to have this game last generation, and it was hit by delays. I mean, credit where credit is due, I think Saints Row does have some things it does very well. The level of customization is fantastic. You can go completely wacko with costumes and colors. You can also do like I did here and go a bit more realistic and also add some prosthetic limbs. How often do you see those in a character creator? Other than that, having played Saints Row for now 10 hours, I think the intro mission does a great job of making it clear what you should expect from the game. After the excellent customization, you are dropped straight into your first mission, capturing a gang leader. You have a firefight in a western theme park. You shoot down a helicopter Stop. from an Take armored personal carrier. He steals a jet and you, uh, chase him. And then you have a shootout from the top of the jet and fight him there as well. Everything I just told you happened within the first 15 minutes. And honestly, the game is full of these excellent, fun, handcrafted missions. One mission I was lying on top of a car in my underwear firing rockets in a car chase. Or how about a mission where I had to clear a construction site of private security using a front loader? And honestly, I wish that this was the game. Mediocre story with fun and creative over-the-top missions. The problem, however, is everything else in the game surrounding these missions. Well, as I touched on, the story is not really anything special here. Let me give you an example. Within the first few hours of the game, one of my roommates in the game is shot. This was supposed to be an emotional moment, here is the problem with that. I am probably five more hours into the story, I still can't remember the name of this guy. 
The game will also occasionally have random slowdowns on PC for no reason whatsoever. I am on a PC that can easily handle this game and I'm getting well above 60 frames per second without any upscaling, so this is definitely an issue with the game. It's not often or game breaking or anything, but it's enough to notice. But the biggest issue with Saints Row is just everything that is not the mission design. The open world is very bland and uninteresting. Even though you have a wingsuit almost immediately, I'm not sure why. There's nothing that makes me go, wow, I want to fly down there and check that out. Like, there is nothing visually exciting about this game. The graphics are not bad, but if I had to describe them, I would probably say that it looks like those advertisements for mobile games we see everywhere. There's just something about the shiny, glossy art style that gives this look. Also, the world does just not give the illusion of feeling lived in. The older Saints Rose games could get away with it because they were over-the-top satire. But with the Wii boot, they tried to dial back the wackiness a tiny bit. And this really exposes the fact that the open world is just lacking in quality overall. In preparation for this video, I actually looked at a trailer for Grand Theft Auto V from when it released. And honestly, Grand Theft Auto V, a game from 2013, feels more lived in than Saints Row. Those games are nine years apart. And this then brings us naturally to what I asked in the start of the video. Can I recommend Saints Row? Actually, if the game is discounted to 20 euros or 10 euros, the answer will be a resounding yes. If you manage your expectations. Let me put it like this. One of Arnold Schwarzenegger's best movie roles is Terminator. Iconic, classic, timeless. You are terminated. But back in 1996, he did a movie most people will not remember. The Eraser. The Eraser is definitely not a top 5 movie for Arnold. But like so many other of his movies, it includes him shooting bad guys and blowing shit up. It's a great popcorn flick that gets the job done. Yeah? You've just been erased. And that is how I would describe Saints Row. If you go in with the correct expectations, it's a great popcorn flick. It will scratch that itch for mindless fun. And if you have a friend who is up for it, it has online co-op as well. But you know, that's just my take on the game. If you found this video insightful, a thumbs up would mean the world to me. And remember, good vibes are always free. What did you think of Saints Row? Did you play it or are you planning to play it? Did you steer away because of the bad reviews? Or perhaps you played it already and you disagree? Let me know down below, I'd love to engage with you. In my personal opinion, Saints Row didn't actually get the attention that I feel it deserves when it came out. A game that got a lot of attention though was Dragon's Dogma 2. I made a review for that game and to be honest, uh, people were kind of pissed. To see that review, click the link here. For more content, subscribe and have a great day.